Are we recording? Did it say so? All right. What's going on, y'all? You now tapped in with the Stamper Podcast. Long time no see. It's been a while, y'all, but we're going to call this the second season. And I got two special guests, my family in the building, Black Business Click. What's up, G and Tina? How y'all doing this morning on this bright Saturday morning? Bright and early. Bright and early. Listen, the early bird gets the worm. So excited to be on this. Excited mm-hmm. to be on the platform. You know, it's always love. We family. So We've been talking about this for a while, bro. So I'm just happy that, you know, we put it out there and we made it happen. So thank you for having us. No, nah, definitely, definitely. I definitely wanted to get y'all on here. It's been a long time in the making. Uh, I've been wanting to sit with y'all for a minute because, you know, just to see where you guys started off from, to see where you at now. I mean, we definitely going to get into everything. But first things first, I always like to like, have my audience just basically just get to know you both. So just give us a little brief background on who you and how you launched Black Business Click? Um, well, how did we launch Black Business Click? Who we are, what we do, right? Right. <laughs> um, so we are a digital marketing firm and we not only promote Black owned business across our social media, but we teach entrepreneurs how to grow their social media using different strategies. Right. And so we got into this business just by one being road travelers. We like to travel. We like to take our kids with us. We have three small children. Um, They like to travel. They like to eat. We all foodies. So it started with restaurants. Us just popping up to different restaurants. Um, And always, always, always we sought out Black owned business. So with that, we would go, we pull up, try the food. And we would post reviews. Mm. So um, we started a business before Black Business Click, but we needed a way to really market it. And so we said, well, how about we start a, you know, promo account where we can promote our business, but also promote some other Black businesses, Mm. right? And so from there, we started doing promo for free. We were promoting, yes, we were promoting Black businesses for free just um, giving, you know, other folks the opportunity to share all the amazing things that they were doing. Mm -hmm. And so then it went from free to $2. And, you know, we just um, continue to evolve over time. So fast forward now, we built a community of like-minded people, entrepreneurs who are looking to learn, you know, enjoy themselves, support one another, collaborate, Mm -hmm. and help hold each other accountable. So... Yeah, that's a little bit about us in a nutshell. <laughs> that, that's fire, and I and I see that uh, like the thing. I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys heard that guy Keith Lee. I think that's who he is. The guy that do the food reviews. Now, were you guys doing that before? Before he kind of blew up, or or what? I'm not familiar with Keith Lee. I'm not. So. I'm not either. But yeah. we we do a review and keep it amongst us. Are we gonna put it out there? We do review of food. Look, Facts. we don't. Yeah. This don't happen overnight. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, too, but no, nah, we just really kind of it just really started hitting. Now we've been doing it for a little minute, but now it's really, really, really taking off and really hitting. So mm-hmm. yeah, bro. I mean, we just came a long way. Um, we just it really came down to just listening to the audience because when we first mm-hmm. started, we were putting out content about all types of different things, right? Yeah. But without doing your market your market research and without like really digging deep into your analytics and your insights, you don't know what you're posting. But the moment we took a step back and looked further into that and saw what was getting more engagement, what did the people want to see, yeah. then we started doubling down on that. And that was um, support, not only just supporting Black businesses, but supporting them, reviewing it, posting it on the platform and letting people know what our experience was. And right. then also, you know, we're a married couple, so people want to see more about us, our love, Black mm-hmm. love. So we pushed everything about that. They wanted to see more about that. Yeah. And also just like how-to videos, because we work with so many different entrepreneurs and small businesses, mm-hmm. how to grow your business using social media, how to capitalize on hashtags, how to go viral, things of that nature. So bro, we just stuck to the script and kept going, kept pushing. I love it. What would you say was some of those, what were some of those early, early challenge, uh, your early challenges in the beginning of uh, Black Business Click? Getting in front of the camera. Because mm-hmm. mm. so that was major because when we started, we never were in front of the camera. It was rare if you got a chance to see who we were. Yeah. But again, going back to, you know, knowing your market and seeing what just some of your competitors do, what some of your peers are doing, 
And if you're doing the same exact thing that they're doing, which we have a promo account, they have a promo account. Right. No one's in front of the camera. Nobody knows who these people are. Yeah. And it took one of our um one of our pre our older clients who you know passed away last year, RIP. She was like, listen, y'all need to get in front of the camera because you're a ray of sunshine. People love what you guys do. People love what you represent. Yeah. And that was wide open because nobody else was doing it. You don't know who you're paying. You think you're supporting a black business, but nine out of 10 chances, you're supporting somebody out of India that were pro-black, right? Planning on a That's black right. account. Like, what are you talking about? So that's how we just kind of saw that lane. We're like, all right, well, let's stop hiding behind the camera. Let's get comfortable yeah. being in front of the camera because we didn't do social media like that. Yeah. But that absolutely leveled up our game tenfold. No, that's a fact. I'm with you on that. I get so many requests for those accounts. They say they pro black, black lives matter. Like, hey, you guys want free promo? Meanwhile, we ain't seen a, a single picture of them. We don't even know who these people are behind the scenes. Oh. So I think that's what makes y'all so special. Makes y'all y'all stand out because y'all are willing to get in front of that camera. You are willing to show your face. You married couple on top of it, on top of that, and y'all running the business together, which is something that I highly that I definitely um, love because we got so much content out here about fifty who's to who's going half on the dinners or fifty fifty all that stuff. <laughs> but to see y'all promoting, <laughs> yeah, <didn't, laughs> yeah, but to see what y'all promoting, because I'm married as well. I, I love it, man. So as far as getting in front of that camera, that was something that I that was I definitely had a problem with because I was one of those, I don't know if y'all was the same, but I was one of those people that was lurking. I wasn't posting much, but I was always just keeping tabs and seeing what other folks was going, what they had going on. So obviously when you do get into business for yourself, before you turn into a faceless brand, people got to know who you are, right? They want to see the person behind, but the person that's posting this content, they want to get a feel for who you are first before they even support what you have going on. Nice. So that's something, again, it takes time. Like it takes a lot of reps, but that, over time, like you said, like you guys are now, like you start to get comfortable. You start to find your lane. You start listening to your audience. They want to see more of you. They want to see other things that you want to post about as well. So I'm, I think that's pretty dope. So fast forward into now, um again you got a, a growing brand what would you what would you say what the what the community is like now as opposed to when you first started out mm. we actually have a community right mm. yeah we first started out we didn't have a community we didn't have we didn't know who our target audience was we were just out here posting following liking any and everybody that was willing to accept us we was like hey show up pull up show love and so right. now that we have a community, you know, using more strategy as mm -hmm. to how we connect with them, how we present opportunities for them to network and collaborate with each other, um, hosting in-person events, right? Mm -hmm. It's us to get off of social media and be social in real life. Mm -hmm. Really tap in with the people, you know, make ourselves more accessible. Yeah. And, um, again, just create more opportunities for them to network because we all have these goals established that we want to accomplish. Um, and we all need different things, right? In our different um, spaces we are in our entrepreneurship journey. So with that, we know having those connections, you know, brings different resources and allow us to get to our goal that much quicker. Mm. Yeah, I think it's dope that you guys that are hosting the in-person events. Cause you are where out here where I live at, you know, ain't too many black folks that's getting together to uh, host networking events. You know, just networking amongst each other, amongst our own community. So I love that's what you what you guys got have going on the networking chill. Uh, I know you guys be doing hosting. Uh, I know we went to, went to the brunch last year. I know you guys got one again coming up as well. You're Super ready. For You're ready. You ain't seen Super nothing excited. yet. Ah. Uh. Stamp, you probably gonna wanna uh, make sure y'all got a sitter lined up. <laughs> the weekend, this gonna be lit all weekend, literally all weekend. Now, can can, can y'all share a little bit of details of what people can expect, or is it a little bit too early? Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the Stamper podcast. Exclusive. I gotta ask. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Tina tell you a little bit about what we got planned, but <laughs> we'll make sure that we're giving the exclusive for the Stamper podcast. Yeah. Over, right? yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Let it be known. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so last year it was amazing. We sold out seventy five plus guests. Um, mm. We packed the house. So this year we said we want to go even bigger. 
even blacker, you know, and make sure that we're adding more value. Right. So yes, we're still doing our black business brunch. Uh, we're going to have an after party as well after the brunch. Um, that following day, we are doing a black bus tour. So we're going to go black business tour. Yeah. A black business bus tour. Black business bus tour. <laughs> All the bees, right? Yeah. Business bus tour. And so with that, we're going to um, party on the party bus and pull up to some different black owned establishments. Yeah. Um, and have different experiences. So mm -hmm. looking at a black winery, we are looking at a black craft studio um, and just, you know, allow us to come again together to mm -hmm. network. You know how it is when we get in a room, right? Right. We can have a good time. So taking us outside of that business element that we're so used to being in, you know, to mm -hmm. focus on business, talking about our business, our growth, uh, allowing us to really just enjoy each other's company and build mm -hmm. more personal level. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a weekend jam packed of Black business, Black love, and networking for sure. Uh, yeah, y'all heard it here first. Exclusive. Y'all heard right. it here first. Right, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's dope, man. Uh, most networking events I've attended, it's mostly just business. Yeah, you might have a a fine conversation here and there but man ain't nothing like like i think y'all event that i had last year for the brunch that was like the first networking event where it wasn't even really like a networking event it just felt like it was just a really uh a huge like a family atmosphere we yeah. just i mean it's just a lot of love in the building a lot of support in the building and that's not something that you know i, I got the opportunity to come across so i thought that was a really dope experience to participate in and i gotta ask because I, I know that was, that was your first brunch that y'all put together yet last mm -hmm. year right so talk, talk talk about that experience. What what was that experience like? Because you know when the first time, because the first time, you know, it's like, all right, how do we put all this together? How do we make sure we're doing everything right? How to make sure that we cross our T's and we dot our I's. Like talk about that whole experience and which and what you learned from that. Man, that was for one. We had to get over our nerves, right? Mm. Again, we weren't. We never put on event, yeah. and um, it took us to attend other events. To get mm -hmm. comfortable to see how the to see how the structure is. Um, so we attended a lot of events prior to hosting our own. Yeah. We went to LA and hosted a hosted a free event because we had a we have a big presence in LA as well. Yeah. And we just had to get comfortable public speaking, speaking in front of people, engaging with people in the room. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the biggest thing. And you know, shout out to my wife because she had the vision. She was like, oh, I want to do, we should do a brunch. And I'm like, oh, yeah, food music, black folks, hello, I saw you. Look, you have some <laughs> some type of entertainment, no some free game in the room, then it's a smash. Yeah, so It was just a matter of bringing it all together and um, getting in front of the people and understanding that, okay, hey, we can do this. We are forcing our lane. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And running events is a cheat code because, again, you're sought, you're sought, or excuse me, you're in the eyes of others as a subject matter expert in your particular field. Yeah. So we had to, if we wanted to live up to that, we had to get in front of people. Yeah. So just kind of bring it all together, bro. And just, it's so many moving, so many moving pieces that we were like, okay, we have to get somebody to do food. We have to get a venue. We have to get music. We have to get the speakers. We have to get, you know, balloons and decorations, tables, chairs. So just kind of really serving as a project manager and making sure that you have every single piece. But one of the things that we stress is that we gave ourselves enough time, mm -hmm. right? So we started marketing our brunch, which is in July and January. Because we never did it before, so we wanted to make sure we had enough time to make sure everything falls into place. Yeah. But I mean, that's my experience. I know they really put it all together. I was just smiling. <laughs> at the food. I'm sure she can give a lot more detail than I can. Right. Yeah, I think the biggest motivating factor too was us being first generation. Everything, whether mm -hmm. it's uh, business owners, investors, homeowners, um, entrepreneurs, right? And so over time we have learned a lot of valuable information yeah and we've always 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 been the type of people to share right because we know there's power in knowledge there's power in sharing the information and bringing it to our community so that was like the main thing we wanted to make sure that people were full when they were leaving they had resources that they could apply in real time that would help them grow their business so you know building your personal credit your um, business credit, having business insurance, you know, some of the key things that you really need 
as an entrepreneur that you may not be aware of. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, as far as information, we really wanted to bring that to the forefront, mm -hmm. right? And then we had some vendors, some people who were in the family, you know, that we wanted to be able to showcase and highlight. And then, you know, we got creative and said, well, how can we make this event pay for itself? You know, so we got some sponsors and things like that. So that brought in an additional income to kind of help us offset some of the cost of things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, it was definitely an experience. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it was such a huge success, yeah, it just, you know, it gave us more energy to go harder this year. So that's why it's definitely, it's, it's going to be up. And, you know, we're going into our fourth year of business. So it's like, yes, we're planning out this event. And it's like, even though it's obviously going to be bigger this year, we're like, oh my gosh, year five is going to go great. Five hundred <laughs> guests, year five. Watch that. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's what Five hundred guests. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. The, the venues are only going to get bigger. <laughs> right. We're going to sell out stadiums and arenas. We're trying yeah. to, listen, our goal is to make this this particular weekend, July twenty first, twenty second, twenty third. Just a household weekend worldwide, Black Business Weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're gonna jump it off here in Sacramento, and then shit. You know, the bigger we get, we just gonna keep expanding, go to different locations. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. want the weekend to be celebrated as we have Black Business Month, which mm -hmm. is Black Business Weekend. We got All Star Weekend. Why not have Black Business Weekend? Right. So all weekend, people are intentionally patronizing Black-owned business and circulating yes. our Black dollars. Mm -hmm. So. We're excited. We're excited for our growth and where we going. No, I'm excited for y'all as well. I would definitely be in attendance for that one. I met so many dope people at that event. Uh, man, who else? I forgot the lady name, but she made some fire cupcakes. Uh, was it Sweet Marie Jones? I think is her name. Sweet Marie's. Yeah, Sweet Marie's. I don't know if she's still here, but man. Nah, you know. man. She in the mood of Texas with mm -hmm. the damn cupcakes. Like, no. Oh, man. Oh. And they're cupcakes. They're mini cakes. So it's the pound cake, and she mm -hmm. just does her thing with these pound cakes like grandma used to make back in the day, right? Yeah. It, it takes you back to your childhood when you have a piece of Sweet Marie's. But, yeah, right. she's out in Texas blessing the people with her cakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need her to come back out here because, yeah, that, <laughs> those cakes was fire. fire. <laughs> and you know what, Sam? Um, Lisa said that that was, well, Network and Chill was the first opportunity y'all got a chance to meet in person after knowing each other for quite some time. Yeah, uh, this it's funny thing, Lisa used to work, uh, we both used to work at New York Life, <clears throat> so, okay. uh, life insurance. And so that was 2020. So, you know, 2020, a lot, it wasn't a ton yeah. of us that was all meeting in person, right? Mm -hmm. So we was actually on the same, under the, uh, we was under the same management, on the same team, essentially. And we would do get up like this. We would get connect on these Zoom calls, and you know we talk about what the goals are for the week, you know. But and I'm having to lead there because I was just absolute trash at selling life insurance. Just wasn't my lane <laughs> to keep it. I learned a ton from there, but yeah, my time there was a more a more of a lessons learned as opposed to really selling. So, but yeah, she was uh, yeah actually working there. We always saw each other over Zoom, and so like I said, when we finally I finally came to network until I finally saw it for the first time. So that was pretty cool. I always get that. I always get that. You know that response. Like, wow, you're you're a lot taller. <laughs> it's like it always happens, right? <laughs> yeah, I love you. that, bro. And that's what that's one of the things that we're realizing where our value is, and it's yeah. serving as the glue. Yeah. We put a lot of different pieces together, mm -hmm. and again, one of the things I said when we we're on CBS was like, look, we're the glue. When you bring all these like-minded, intelligent, influential, game-changing Black minds together, mm -hmm. what gets created is, 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 a, is amazing, dude. So it's like, okay, now we see this. So it's like when we do our events, we don't have to be up there speaking. Yeah. Not all the time. Not when we have a network of people doing phenomenal things. No, we, we'll bring y'all together and y'all do y'all thing. Yeah. So yeah, bro, it's just been a blessing, man. And we're extremely humbled of where we are now, where we're going to go. And again, the future looks bright. So we're excited. No, same here, man. It's, it's nothing like having that that in person, because after a while, like I said, I mean, 
I mean, from 2020 on, it's just a bunch of Zoom calls, you know. Like, that's cool, but it's nothing like, you know, being in person, getting to feel, you know, getting to feel that energy, seeing that body language, to see if folks really work with you or not. Because, like, it's really not, it's really hard to tell online. <clears throat> but, like I said, once you get in person, it's hard to fake it. You can't fake that energy when you, once you actually see a person. That's hard. That's real. Right. So, but yeah, man, that, yeah, it was pretty cool to be able to get the opportunity to see her. So now, we have built a community. Um, what else do you got? What else do you guys have coming up on the pipeline? I know you guys got the uh, was it the financial seeds of wealth, right? The oh, symposium. Yeah. Did I say it right? Absolutely, yes. you did. You better than when I first saw it. Like, symposium, <laughs> symposium, whatever that. Is. But um, yeah, we have uh, we just wrapped up our first five day social media boot camp that was virtual. That ended yesterday. That was crazy. That went crazy, bro. It was just five days of intense training on Zoom. Everything that we learned over the last four years put into uh -huh. five-day training. And um, that went crazy. So that's something that we're going to continuously run it back. The goal is to run a boot camp every single month. I don't know if all of them are going to be five days, but the people love the five days. But I'm like, bro, hey. I'm two. But I was just about to ask you about that. I was just going to ask you. Please talk about that. Look, before I let you talk about that, I did a I did a five I did a five day uh, boot camp so, sort of similar to that uh, long mm -hmm. just starting your your notary agency. Uh -huh. And I you know I I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know who Andre Hatchet is. Oh yeah, uh, he was the inspiration behind that because I see him. He always always doing these boot camps. I was like, man, let me try one out. And so, man, we, I had a pretty good turnout, but uh, man, on that fifth day, I was like, bro, oh, <laughs> do this again. <laughs> I don't think I can do that again. That is, I didn't realize. The energy that you got to have because not only that you got your own business to run during the day you still got a family you still got kids i don't know by the way you got a boot camp and you have to show up for these people that paid you and they want to learn this information so on that fifth day, like, bro, I, don't, I don't know if i could ever do this again but i was appreciative <laughs> for the experience but man i was whooped at mm -hmm. i didn't think it was gonna be that you know just just five days or just class after class so talk about what was that experience like it was um it was very informative, right? And when you think of boot camp, you just think of somebody gonna get their butt with that boot camp. And I thought it was gonna be them for the information, but yeah. it was us, bro. I was yeah. tired. <laughs> I was like, all right, come I mean, come Thursday. I was like, okay, yeah, we got to get it together. We got to push through. We almost there. Yeah, almost there. But again, the people loved it because you know we always gonna ask for feedback afterwards. And they're like, oh, yeah. we. I was like, we ain't gonna do the five day anymore. No, we love loved the five day. We loved it. With so much information, it's hard to compact all that information into it. Yeah. It's hard. Difficult. Um, it was it was it was a learning experience, bro. It was the love was real. We gave so much game, so much information. It was extremely tiring. Come fifth day, like I was knocked out on the couch after <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. I was knocked out on the couch after that boot camp. And you would think it's virtual. Why are you tired? But it's just tiresome. You know, it's yeah. a lot of brain power, it's a lot of energy, it's a lot of you gotta be owned. Like you said, yeah. you for these people that invested in you because they want yeah. their information and they want your energy. So we can provide that. So um, it was a great experience. We might do it again. We might, but it was yeah. tiresome. What do you think? We're definitely going to do it again. Ah, okay, we're we're going to do it again. <laughs> okay. You know, we're huge on doing our market research and listening to the people, asking yeah. those questions. And so the fact that the people are bought in and they like having it stretched over a course of five days because it allows them to digest the information mm -hmm. in bite-sized pieces you know, where they can understand. Um, our sales coach, Bruce, you know, shout out to Bruce. New skills, new, skills, new you. Yes, one new skill can change your life, right? Um, he always say, when you provide a lot of information, it can cause overload. It can cause a person to feel overwhelmed, right? And with that comes confusion. So that's what we don't want. We want to allow them to get the information in bite-sized pieces, you know, digest it, regurgitate it on their homework um, within the framework of their own business so they can come back and ask questions the next day, you know, and continue following up with them and then making sure that they feel armed after boot camp with the resource that they can continue to use. So mm -hmm. we provided our digital copy of our social media planner and went through that as well. So then that way, when we're not around to answer any questions or they feel like I'm stuck, you know, I don't really know what to post or how to yeah. post or what I should be doing. They can refer back to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the most difficult part. It's just 
compacting all that information in. And on mm-hmm. top of that, you got to know your stuff too to do a five day boot camp. I don't. There's there's a lot of folks they can do a, a one day class. You know, we could they could pre record a course, which is ain't nothing wrong with that. I've done it. But to actually just commit to doing five days, and this is new. It's, 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 this is not the same information that you're regurgitating as well. This is new information each day. Mm-hmm. Got to have the topic ready. Got to know what the, what points to touch on, and you need to know your stuff on top of that as well. So I commend y'all All for I can say is on the fifth day, we had two slides to go over. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It was two slides. Yeah, y'all go get these two and be happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But that goes back to organization, right? right? Organization yeah. and how you set up your class over the yeah. course of a few days. Because if you uh, overload people with too much information, it's hard for them to extract yeah. and take things away and be able to apply. Yeah. Right? Because anybody, we can go pay for a course, but that don't mean we're able to digest the information and apply it. Mm-hmm. So that's our goal to make sure that people are able to apply this information and they're able to grow their business using the strategies that we teach them. Mm-hmm. And then following up afterwards mm-hmm. and saying, Hey, you know, after this, you guys book a call. Yeah. We want to make sure that we on top of you. We want to hold you accountable. Shit, that's, mm-hmm. that's Andre all day long. Brian ain't never been on a zoom call. And he was all right, do it right now. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? I'm trying to do this a month. No, 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 no. Do it right now. So it's like, yeah. Hey, ah, so we take that same energy when we apply it to real. Yeah, I'm like, look, we here, we a resource. We want to see y'all win. If y'all win, we win. If we win, y'all win. Yes. And that's only going to bring more people and more activity and more engagement to our, our future boot camps if they see you guys winning and applying it. So right. yeah. we're excited about this. It's, I guess we're going to do another five days. But yeah, yeah, I think it's needed too, especially for the, <laughs> on, the account, on the accountability side. I mean, Mm-hmm. In this area that we live in, we we not we not lack of inf- information. We can literally go on our phone, go on Google. We even got the Chat GPT where we literally ask the app any kind of question. So we not lack of information, right? But I think that accountability piece is missing, where we actually need to have someone to be honest and tell us, like, no, okay, you got the idea, okay, do it right now. And that's why he's uh, and Dre used to pull our card every time we was on the call, especially early on in the mastermind days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ask you. All right, what you do? Or how much you? How much you make for the week? I want to know. It's like, okay, if you didn't hit your income number, what was, you, what was you doing that? To, what was you doing that prevented you from hitting that goal? And so when you got people like that that's hold that's on your hit on your helmet, as I say, on your helmet like that, holding you accountable. Because at the end of the day, we, nobody didn't force us to get into business. We made the choice to get into business for ourselves to have these to accomplish what we had set out. So we need people to to push us and get us to that point. Mm-hmm. Um. I want to talk about uh, trust. What did, what did have, what would you say is what would you say um, like how did you got how did you establish trust amongst your audience? How Ooh. did you establish that trust? Because I would say you guys are someone like yeah, it's a ton of those promo accounts again. They did hey, I sent you a DM. Check it out. And I was like no, I don't even know who you are. But for <laughs> you all, like, I ain't never seen your face. You ain't posted a video. But when I go to your page, I don't see people. I see a lot more fair-skinned people than people that look like us on your page. And so, uh, how would you? How did you establish that trust? Because I know that's something that people got to get over when they see when they see your page. It's like, oh, it's another one of those promo accounts. But when they see your account, they see, oh no, this is something that's completely different. So, just talk about how did you establish that trust and and where where has that gotten you to this point? I would say you hit it on the nose. Just to start with getting in front of the camera, mm-hmm. letting people letting people not only see us but see the true us, be authentic, showing up for our business as our authentic selves, being transparent, you know, because on social media, it's a highlight reel, bro. Like everybody just posts their great moments. Oh, look at me. Mm-hmm. I'm in my bed. I made six figures. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It was like, okay, that's cool. But guess what? Yeah. Regular ass people, bro. We regular, we parents, we got kids. So yeah. that was one of the things that, that we were kind of self-conscious about with our boot camp. Cause like, shit, it's going to be a roller coaster because we got three kids on the other side of this wall. Yeah. So it's only a matter of time before they bust in here and start <laughs> tripping. Yeah. So, but the people that in our that are in our community know that. They know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So even though we're self-conscious about that, they're yeah. like, oh, y'all, you know, we know that's gonna happen. And yeah. we love the fact that you guys aren't trying to hide that. No, we're not yeah. trying to hide it. Just we embrace it because it's not just us, it's not just our business, me and Tim. It's their business too. They yeah. take straight up. No, we own black business thing. This is our business. So I think, again, showing up as our true selves, being transparent, being honest, and getting in front of that ahead of time, because again, we saw that that was a gap in a lot of these other different business and promo accounts, and we didn't want to have that same energy into what we did. We want to show you, look, this is who we are, this is what we do, 
Yeah. Either you rock with it or you don't. We're not for everybody, but I know for the people that we for, they see the vision, they see the value, they see what we're trying to do, and they rock with it heavy. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and being able to send messages to people, right? When we get new followers or we connect with new people, make new connections, we always send them a message. Just, you know, welcoming mm -hmm. into our space, you know, thanking them for following us on our journey, wishing them well letting them know, you know, if there's anything we could do to support you or we could help you grow your business in any way, don't hesitate to reach out. Yeah. You know? And so that has allowed us to build a lot of new relationships, a lot of new connections. Um, we even was able to build a connection with the Black Chamber from that alone, build a connection with them. And they um, hired us to teach a social media training. So this past Wednesday, it was a boot camp. Right. 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 Yeah. So we hopped on a call with them, taught their 50 plus businesses how to grow their business using yeah. social media. So, you know, things are really um, coming into place. And yeah. now we have this blueprint. So we're able to share that with our community and, you know, teach them some of those things that's working. Like just do what's working. Don't overthink it, you know, and just keep it moving. Right. Figure out how to stay innovative. Figure out how to pivot. Because like you said, we're all we, it's going to be a roller coaster. At some, yeah. point, you know, you have high highs and sometimes you have low lows. So it's all about figuring out how to pivot. Mm -hmm. This time you were at our last networking chill. Right. So yeah. one of the things that we've done research and again, knowing our target audience and one of the one of the ways for us to stand alone and what we're doing. Yeah. I was straight up. First question I asked everybody when everybody is there. Hey. We're here to support. We're here to support you. How can we help you grow your business? But this is what I want everybody to do. Take out your phone. This is my personal cell phone number. Yeah. Call me. Help me. Let's set up a meeting. Let's talk. Let's chat. Let's figure out where some of your pain points are, and we're going to try to help you there. So it's just being real, bro. It's being authentic. So many people are doing this for a money grab. Our networking chill tickets are $5. Yeah. It's not a lot. We just want to get the people in the room and network because, again, we're looking at the bigger picture. Yep. And I know we can't help you. We're going to know somebody that can help you. Yep. And if that ain't the case, you're going to network with somebody in that room that can take your business to a whole nother level. So nice. that's what it is. We're just being transparent, showing up and being who we are and not hiding it. I love it. I love it. You got to get in the room. Can we can't help you out. You don't get in the room and the closed mouth don't get fed. That part. Yeah. Yeah. And I do, and I do sort of, sort of, sort of, uh, sort of similar thing. Like I get a new notary that follows me. It's like automatically just reach out to them because <laughs> a lot of times folks we want we want help but they don't want to reach out yes. yeah, they don't want to reach out because they may think you may be big head or they may be they they may feel like you at a different level than they are so they may i feel like you'll take the time out to do it but mm -hmm. like nah man you know what i mean you know how many times i've had people paying for it to me when they absolutely didn't have to right you know so i'd be foolish not to do the same for the next especially if it's just some information i know that can help put some money in your pockets or just help help your business you know build some momentum or help them move forward for that week so mm -hmm. i'm definitely all for that now i definitely gotta get this right because let me let me tell you guys a quick story um where was i at i was on my way somewhere i had got an email from y'all that said y'all was gonna be on abc mm -hmm. and so when i seen that i was like what yeah, about to be on ABC. Was, was, was it uh good day? Is it good day in America or just just ABC? Yeah, yeah. CBS. Man, all right. Mm -hmm. So I instantly sent. I think it was G that got the email. I was like, "What?" I said, "Y'all about to be on ABC." I said, "The price going up." If y'all on ABC, <laughs> <laughs> the price going up, man. Talk about that experience. What was that like? And how how did that even come together? Because that's that's I think that's that's something that needs to be talked about. Um, I just think it came about just us being intentional yeah. like again we wanted to be social not only on social media but social outside of social media mm -hmm. so once we saw who some of the players were that were in the news cast business or whatever we hit them up like yeah. Yeah, i see you liking our posts we liking your posts we see who else is in your circle we liking those posts we got a lot of similar minded people and um we just started being intentional about engaging and building these relationships yeah and um inviting them like yo we have a networking chill every so every first first friday of every month we would love to have you in the room come check us out next month come hey we would love to have you in the room come check us out next month come hey we would love to have you in the room right come check us out <laughs> so um it was just being persistent bro yeah and um 
it just so happened to happen at the right time because we had a post that went crazy. And, um, you know, once that post went viral, here, here they come. Hey, big head. How you <laughs> like, I love, I love what y'all are doing. I want to, I want to feature you guys. And, um, let's, let's pick out one of those restaurants that you guys are promoting and let's do a segment there. And we're like, say less. Mm -hmm. So, um, unfortunately the restaurant that we decided to do it at, mm -hmm. they're already planning to get featured in the future. So it's like, I can't necessarily do it there. Yeah. Um, where else can you do it? We're like, oh, good. We're going to show love to our clients when we do first Friday network and chill. Yeah. And we're going to have them bring some of our other clients and they bring their own clients and everybody wins. Right. Yeah. I wanted to be just black business click again, black business click is built up from you, the entrepreneurs, the black entrepreneurs, we're nothing without other entrepreneurs. Yeah. So again, we wanted to show that love, but it was a hell of an experience, bro. It went so, we tried to rehearse as much as we can, but <laughs> next thing you know, they're like, boom, camera's on. Hey, gee, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is, Tina was supposed to do this part. So yeah, bro, it was, it was crazy, but it was fun. <laughs> No, that's dope. I love it, man. And uh, I, I and I want to touch on something. I think, I think hopefully people don't um, miss out on is the persistency, the follow up. Mm -hmm. so you probably followed up more than three to four. It's mm -hmm. people that are that see that that get the, that get to get the courage and get some motivation to just reach out to that person who they've always wanted to talk to, or at least have a business meeting with. They shoot them an email, or shoot them a text, or just shoot them a DM. They don't hear from them right away, and they just give up. Right. Oh, man, maybe they won't talk to me, but people don't, they don't be thinking, people be busy too. Right. And sometimes what I've seen too, I've had people, I've had clients do this, do, do this to me before. Like they want to see how persistent were you? Were you just someone that is going to reach out to me just that one time? Or are you somebody that's going to consist? Are, so are you going to be someone that's going to be consistent? That's going to follow up, be persistent? Because again, you got to be very confident in your business and your abilities to even, to even to go after, to go after what you want. Mm -hmm. Right, so I definitely want that to uh, not to, uh, to touch on that. Your follow up is crazy. The money is in the follow up. That's mm -hmm. that part. You took the word right out of my yeah. mouth. It is. And, it, yeah. and then right after, it's crazy because during the actual segment, somebody called the Stacktown collab, and they're like, "Yo, we see y'all on TV. We want to. We want to book." We're like, "See, boom, there we go. We the glue. We're gonna bring you more business. It's just what we do. Y'all win, we win." So it was exciting, bro. We're humbled that they wanted to again going back to where we started. Yeah, a free slinging free promo in our in our two bedroom one bathroom apartment, and they're struggling in their shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that knowing that and then seeing where we're gonna be five years from now is super exciting. I'm like, because we got you got to enjoy the journey. Yeah, if you're not enjoying the journey, you ain't gonna get to where you want to get. It's gonna be hard, but we love the struggle. You know what I mean? Because you learn from it. If you're not learning from your struggles, you're not learning from your mistakes. If you're not learning from falling and bumping your head. Yeah. Good luck, you know what I mean? But you got to embrace that. And once you embrace it, you can't lose. Just like in our, our, our mastermind, our family calls every week, we do wins, we do lessons. We don't say losses. Yeah. You can, if you think it's a loss, yeah. you already lost. But if you can take something away from that situation, then it's a lesson. And that's what yeah. we want to continue to push and preach. So we enjoy it, Rose. It's, it's, it's humbling. We're so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can, wait. I, can wait. <laughs> I can tell, man. And that brings me to my last question. The question that I always ask uh, my guests towards the end is, uh, where do you see Brad, where do you see Black Business Click in the next five years, five to ten years? Well, what's the long term vision for for the uh, for the Click? Our goal is to um, have our own space. We spend a lot of money written space for events. <laughs> And we know entrepreneurs, we need like a virtual address that we can use. Yeah. We need office space. Some of us can't, you know, really afford it. Just having a brick and mortar isn't necessarily necessary, right? right. <laughs> so um, having a space for us here locally in Sacramento, but also having different chapters across the states. So then that way, wherever you are, whether it's Atlanta, Jersey, Texas, wherever you can pull up to Black Business Click, you know, connect with some other like-minded people there and get some resources. That's next level in having chapters in each each state. Yeah, that's the goal. All right, we're all we're all our family. You know, we heavy in Texas, we heavy in Atlanta, we heavy in we heavy in Cali. So just go to where the people are and look again. If you need resources, if you need a brick and mortar, if you need a co-working space, if you need an event space. 
you got everything that you need one stop shop there yeah. um also Hello. one of the thing that we learned about being on the news being on the news was dope but why can't we have our own news why can't we have our own you know um just platform and showcase what other black businesses are doing because we would have did things a little different yeah well, well, shit. we got some microphones yeah. his microphone wasn't turned on yeah. we got an iphone <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah. Black Business Click TV coming soon. So mm. yeah, we go. I'm, it's going up, bro. It's crazy. We want to have our own segment, like our own news, where we can highlight black businesses that don't have to feel, oh, is this is this too black? You know, I don't yeah. want to be too black on this. No, we're gonna be black as hell on our news, yeah. and it's just it is what it is. <laughs> so I uh, get it into media, possibly getting into magazine, getting into print. But um, absolutely, we want to have different different um locations throughout the U.S. No, nah, we definitely need our own media. We need our own representation. <laughs> well, yeah, because uh, because there because there have been some platforms where they misrepresent as well. They misrepresented us, and they do it at a high level. So we need something like you guys, to, something that's much more positive. That's going to highlight the highlight the positive side of our community and entrepreneurs within that community as well. So I'm man, I'm I'm so excited for y'all to to for what's to come. I'm just happy to be a part of it to see to be a, be along for the ride. To be honest, that's why, right? Like we rocking with you in the Stamper Academy as well, bro. So mm-hmm. again, just seeing your growth is is hella inspiring. It's hella inspiring, you know. So that's why it's it's again. That's why we preach love and good people love. Good people know good people. And once you got somebody good, you continue to love on them, pour into them, support, and it ain't always got to be financial. It's just yeah. look, build relationships and. You'll be surprised where that relationship will go. So, you know, we got you forever, bro, because I know where you're going to go. You know what I mean? I feel like you're not even at the peak of where you're going to go and where you're taking the Stamper, the Stamper Academy, you know? So it's just, it's humbling for us too, just to be a part of this. And I forgot who it was. We were having a conversation with one of the notaries and they're like, I never heard of Andre, but I know Big Snap. Like, <laughs> That's my Andre. So I'm like, let's go. Uh, that's lit. So, I mean, when you walked in the room, bro, it was powerful. You know, yeah. that's crazy. Like when you see that, when you're like, damn, where I started from, and then when I walk in the room, people know who I am. Yeah, it's, it's a strange feeling. I'm not gonna lie. It's weird, bro. It's hard to get. It's hard to because we we just got that yesterday. We went we pulled up to a business, and um, you know, we we just it's just me and Tina. I got our kids. Yeah. And we're trying to talk. He's like. Oh, from the uh, from the video with the uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. some cake. I'm like, all right, okay, bro, good. So, yeah, this is it's crazy, bro. It, that shows you the impact that you have, and people, yeah. people need it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. again, I can't wait to see where you're going as well, bro. We're gonna be right there rocking with mm-hmm. you because just being a part of the journey, this is an exciting part. You know, yeah. you get to that plateau. You're like, I knew this was coming. Yeah. Well, I, I just have, I'm just happy to visualize the journey and watch you go through it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I embrace that part. So yeah, hell yeah, bro. Kudos to what you're doing. Thank you, man. Yeah, it, it's a trip to um, cause like I mean, I, I don't, honestly, I don't think about it. You know, you just get, you just put the content out. You just think about I me. Mean, I, I, I got to be. I, at least the business has to be seen. We got at least get some content out there. But then you actually see people. They're like, oh, you, you so and so. Oh yeah, you. I pay to see content all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because you you put you put out the you put out the content for people for for it to be seen, right? But then when you when people tell you that they see it, like you're like, oh, well, you check it out, right? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's an oxymoron, right? So it's it's a trip how that works out, man. But again, man, it's all about the impact. Uh, you know, we got always lead with value first, and everything else will fall into place. Before we jump out of here, plug everything in. What do you guys have coming up? You got the podcast, you got the courses, you got any other boot camps coming up? Well, I'm happy you asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have our 2023 Black Business Play calendar. This is uh-huh. something that we do every year. Mm-hmm. And uh, they go crazy, man. Just to kind of give you a quick snippet, this is something that Tina put together. We got a list of different Black businesses that you can support. We got different features, different ads in here from all types of black businesses worldwide, people that are within our community that are doing great things. And we just wanted to put that out there to show to showcase and highlight, you know, what they're doing. So that's on sale. You can click the link in the bio. We got our social media planner, which this is going crazy. If you are some type, if you do have a business on social media, again, if you don't have a business on social media, that's a problem. But if you do and you want to be intentional about your growth, if you want to be intentional about posting consistently, 
having content ideas, tracking your income, tracking your followers, mm -hmm. and just holding yourself accountable, this is absolutely what you need. Um, we have our social media boot camps that's going to roll every single month. We're working on another workshop, which is going to be the social media planner workshop. That should be dropping soon. Um, Network and Chill every first Friday. Check us out in Sacramento. Yeah. Um, Black Business Brunch. Make sure you're in the room for the Black Business Brunch in July. July 22nd, mm -hmm. July 23rd. Family night going to be July 21st. When we say it's the weekend, it's the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll try to get it all in. What you, what you got? Do you need anything on the table? You didn't leave. Nothing on the table. But we <laughs> <empty>. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's um, everything. I know y'all got more stuff cooking. You know, we got some more stuff. I, I know y'all got some stuff cooking up. Listen, if you're looking for promotion, if you're looking for advertising, if you're looking for feature collaboration at your black owned business, um, or if you just want to be a part of a great community, a community that's built off love, a community that's built off education, a community that's built off support, tap in with the black business click, man. This is what we're here to do. We want to pour into anybody. You want to pour into everybody as long as you got good energy, right? We can tell people energy online is like, ooh, yeah, skirt, pump the brakes. We ain't trying to work with you. We can feel it. It's yeah. all good. Bitch. <laughs> you know me, I'll kick you off the group real quick. That's just what I do if it ain't right. But no, nah, right. Right. right, if it ain't right, it ain't right. If you're looking for a consultation call, if you want to just pick our brain, if you have any inquiries, hit the link in the bio. We can do all that. But I just appreciate you, Sam. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really enjoyed this. No, nah, man, the pleasure is all mine, man. I, I, man, I've been waiting for this to happen. I appreciate y'all for coming by today, blessing us uh, with your story, a whole lot of game as well, the, the importance of consistency, following up, and then just, all right, just sticking to it. Yeah. Just being on the journey, just trusting the process and trusting the journey. I think a lot of us, even I'm guilty of this, I'm be, sometimes you be so focused on the outcome of things, but, you know, the process is what's going to get you to that desired outcome. So I think, I think we focus more on the journey, the process, Mm -hmm. outcome that we that we looking to get it's, it's going to be inevitable that we that we receive it That's a fact. appreciate y'all for tapping in with us today if you're watching this on youtube make sure you like make sure you subscribe to our channel make sure you give us a five-star rating on anchor spot uh, spotify apple podcast all that good stuff if you're a notary entrepreneur watching this and you want to learn how to use your stamp to make more money uh, make sure you enroll in the stamping academy uh, 12 plus hours of notary educational content, weekly live classes, monthly group coaching calls. Oh, you get access to the replays as well. Hopefully we can get the Black Business Click to come through and teach a social media class as well, because, man, a lot of notaries need it. You know, I, I just I just got to put that out there right now. <laughs> no, man, just let us know when. <laughs> we, got, we got you for free ski too, so only for big time. You just let us know when and where. Man, I appreciate that. Appreciate y'all again for coming by. Uh, again, make sure y'all tap in with this uh, for, our, for uh, on the latest episodes as well. And again, leave us a five, leave us a five star rating. Check us out and tell a notary entrepreneur too. Until next time, peace. I see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Staff send that content. Yeah, got you. <laughs>